Welcome to this session on misleading advertisement and the consumer. In this session, we will discuss what is advertising and its needs, what constitutes misleading advertisements, how do such advertisements harm the consumer's interest, and what is the legal framework available to protect the consumers from misleading advertisements. Let us understand what is advertising. Advertising is any form, paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of ideas, goods or services by an identified sponsor. This is the definition given by the American Marketing Association which has been accepted globally as the definition of what is an advertising. Advertising includes any notice, circular, label, wrapper or any other document or visible representation or announcement made by means of any light sound, smoke or gas or by means of electronic transmission by audio or visual transmission. Let us understand the importance of advertising. Advertising helps consumers to decide what to buy and when to buy. It also informs them about the new innovative products that are in the, launched in the market informs about new uses of existing products, informs about differences between products, suggests better solution to the problems and also saves times of consumers and makes shopping much more easier. Let us also look at what are the benefits of advertising. Manufacturers, marketers use advertising to inform the consumers about the products and services that they have launched create new demand for the product, create and maintain a brand identity or brand image by launching the project, increase sales and maximize profits, play with psychology of the consumers and also motivate and enhance consumer confidence. We have talked about what is advertising and its importance. Now let us see what's wrong with misleading advertisement. Advertising that lies and misleads people is known as misleading advertisement. Advertising which manipulates consumers to buy things they don't need by playing on emotions is also known as misleading advertisement. Misleading advertisements essentially add cost to the product or the services that are being produced. Clever or misleading advertisement extends the demand for an inferior product because Nothing is clear about the product and lot of things are hidden. Advertising distorts free and fair market practices and some people also think that it makes them unhappy. So in nutshell, a misleading advertisement is one which gives wrong information to the consumers, which can't substantiate the claims that is there in the advertisement, hides important information and also deliberately confuses consumers. Essentially, there are two types of misleading advertisements. One is false advertising, where advertising uses statements in the form of unverified facts. And the second is, you have the deceptive advertising, essentially meaning that it is used to mislead consumers using implied false claims. Now, let us also understand what misleading advertisement does. Essentially, misleading advertisements violate consumers right to information, right to choice, right to safety. So these are the three rights that are infringed because of misleading advertisement. It also harms the consumers and the economy leading to financial loss to the consumer, mental harassment to the consumer, physical harassment to the consumer and it overall harms the economy because misleading advertisements are illegal advertisements that are fetching revenue which is not going to the economy. So the question is, how do we stop or control misleading advertisements? One is self-regulation by the companies which are advertising, the traders, they themselves regulate and ensure that misleading advertisement does not come. The second is by government through laws, directions, institu institutions, regulations. So they try to control misleading advertisement. And the third most important element which can control misleading advertisement is essentially the consumers, the consumer groups and also the voluntary associations which are working in the area of consumer protection. They can also highlight the 
number of misleading advertisements that are coming and report to the authorities. One of the most important agencies for regulating advertisement is the Advertising Standard Council of India. It is a non-profit and self-regulatory council set up in 1985 in Mumbai. It is a non-statutory body which mainly aims at self-regulation and acts as a pressure group. It has a council of 21 members consisting of advertisers, media, representatives, ad agencies, advertising experts and academicians. ASCII is essentially a voluntary association of advertisers, therefore it does not have a legal status not the power to punish. However, government has made a number of laws to regulate false and misleading advertisement. The major laws which have control at misleading advertisement are Drugs and Magic Remedies, Objectionable Advertisement Act of 1954, Cable Television Network Regulation Act and Rules of 1995, the In Fact Milk Substitute and In Fact Food Act of 1992, Food Safety and Standards Act of 2009, Drugs and Cosmetics Act. Then also you have the Bureau of Indian Standards Act, which was amended in 2015. Agriculture Produce Marketing and Grading Act also you have, which talks of misleading advertisement. Then you have the Consumer Protection Act of 1986 and 2019. And you have the Competition Act. Now all these acts also talk about controlling misleading advertisement. So, it uh, depends upon the area in which it is so that the consumer can file a complaint with the appropriate authorities. Apart from ASCII, which is not a legal entity and also it is a association that has been formed by the advertisers to ensure that misleading advertisement is not there. There are other agencies which the governments have made to check misleading advertisements. The most important ones are the IRDA Insurance Advertisement and Disclosure Regulation of 2000, TRI the Telecom Commercial and Customer Preference Regulation of 2010, TRI Direction on Preventing Misleading Tariff Advertisement 2012, Securities and Exchange Board of India, Reserve Bank of India and the Medical Council of India. These are some of the very important institutions which have been set up by the government to ensure that misleading advertisements do not occur. Now the question is, in spite of asking being there, in spite of you having many legislations to control misleading advertisement, the question is why misleading advertisements continue. Now all the laws that are there, they are outdated and do not really ensure compliance and also the regulatory mechanism that is there that is so slow and outdated that misleading advertisements really do not get the acquired punishment. No regulatory authority to approve advertisements, unlike you have in the films, you have the film censor board, there is no censor board, no authority that advertises and whatever laws are there, it also results in poor enforcement of these laws. ASCII's efforts as self-regulation is commendable but not adequate as I, I have already said ASCII is not a legal entity and does not have the power to punish. Ignorant attitude of citizens also. You must be saying that a lot of misleading advertisements come and because of these, the consumers, the citizens are influenced to buy products and services. And other most important thing is the media itself is sensitive to any form of regulation. Therefore, to ensure that media is free, that so far there has been no regulation to control misleading advertisements. So, in spite of so many regulations and laws and also ASCII being in existence, misleading advertisements continue to be there. So the most important is you need to create awareness and empower the consumers to understand how do they find out it is a misleading advertisement or not. And if it is a misleading advertisement, they should essentially report to the concerned authorities or what they can do best is to avoid buy buying such products and services so that they are safe in the market. One should remember that misleading advertisement harms the consumer, it can also affect his safety. So therefore, adequate information is needed before one goes to the market to buy products or services and should ensure that he has full information, full facts before he buys one. Lot of misleading advertisement you can see in the TVs, so one should understand 
what advertisement can do and what advertisement cannot do. The harm is much more than the gains there. Thank you.